I don't even know where to uh, begin, where to start here. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm opening, you know, with this shot here of the entrance to uh, Nyalotha because, um, well, you can probably, you know, figure by the title of this video what it has to do with, but I kind of feel the need to elaborate and explain. So, <laughs> I don't even know how to put this into proper words to kind of lead into what I want to talk about here. You probably are aware that World of Warcraft has some reputations, and sometimes the reputations can get very negatively twisted and overblown, in, especially in regards to things such as community or um, random people that you get paired up with, uh, pugs, you can probably um, uh, know that's what that is basically referring to. Pugs is usually the, the term that's used for that when you have to do something big like a Mythic Plus dungeon or a raid, a high-level raid, with a bunch of random people instead of people that you know or regularly play with, you know, like a guild or friends. And because of this, the reputation for things like Pugs has gotten very, very negative. I was recently introduced to a group that since Warlords of Draenor was made and has gone out of their way uh, as <laughs> to help people that are not you know that sometimes just don't have that much of a big opportunity to acquire certain things as before uh, or certain things that are usually very hard to get so for example and I actually talked about this in my uh, main playthrough with this character in the Nihilotha LFR run, which was the mount that you got for, uh, only got if you were able to beat Heroic Nazoth um, before the next raid tier. It's an achievement that is categorized as Ahead of the Curve, or AOTC for short. And in my in that video I I voiced how I was a little upset about that because while I do understand the idea of rewards for people who pulled off something in a limited time and therefore are able to show it off it's also something I disagree with that you then take that away and make it where it's never possible for other people who for one reason or another because there are various different reasons why people would not have been able to have a chance to get those kinds of rewards you know, to be able to have a chance of getting them, you know? Like, there are certain things that were removed from the game that you can no longer ever get in the game again. And I dislike that not necessarily just for myself, but for anyone else out there. Not everyone has been playing this game since it was in vanilla. Not everyone has had an opportunity to get certain rewards, certain things that you could only have gotten during that small period of time. I understand it, but I don't agree with it because you are depriving so many people of the opportunity. If they had the opportunity, you couldn't pull it off. That's one thing. But if, but for to basically give certain people no opportunity whatsoever at all because, let's say, they weren't playing the game at the time or had, hadn't gotten into it then or certain real-life things caused them to be away from the game during that time so they couldn't have been able to take the time to play to be able to achieve that or whatever reason do you see what i mean so because of this these group of people who from what i understand are regular mythic raiders and such pretty high level players they wanted to go out of their way to help those who could be able to get these rewards who perhaps they don't have a regular raiding guild or don't have that many friends to be able to do this with, and to be able to help carry them, that's the term that's used, carry, um, carry them to get that achievement or that reward or that mount because they enjoy doing it. They like being able to help people to get those kinds of rewards. 
And that is an incredibly wonderful and generous thing. These are inc wonderful people. And they will also not just do it, you know, and they do it for free. But they don't just do it for free. They also will sometimes do it alongside something really great, like tonight, for example. They did it for, during a charity, a charity fundraiser. As part of the fundraiser for the charity, which was for a good cause, they were offering free AOTC carries to be able to help people get them out while also raising funds for the charity. That is a wonderful, amazing thing. And this is a community in WoW, and this is what I was, why I was talking about that before. This is a shining example that there are, that, you know, the people who say that there's no community in WoW anymore, they're just wrong. They're ignorant because people like this shows it's a shining example that that's just not true. This is an incredible community in this game. And it's a community that reminded me of that incredible fact that there are just incredibly wonderful and generous people that you can meet playing these games. And I love that. You know, and they've been doing this since Warlords of Draenor when they offered that reward for beating Archimonde on heroic difficulty to get that special moose mount. You know, that one, the, uh, what was it, the, the Grove Mount? Like, you would beat Heroic Archimonde, you would get something, you would head over to Malfurion, basically turn that in and get a mount. And they've been doing that since then, you know? They've been do they did it in Legion, and they've continued to do it here in BFA. So I mentioned what they did tonight. And you're probably going, okay, where is this going? This is going to me showing you what... So <laughs> so they were streaming this on Twitch. Uh, one of the people was streaming it. It's part of the charity that, that was going on. And the way it works is that it was a raffle. And um, as I said, it's free. It has to be free, partly because it's against the TOS from Blizzard, but it's also because they're not doing this to get paid. They're doing this because they enjoy it. They enjoy helping people that perhaps don't have the, op you know, the real legit opportunity to do this, like what some people would say is legit or whatever, you know? But like I said, there are so many different possible reasons that people, you know, that you can't just make the judgment that some people just like, you know, if they don't do it this way, well, then they don't deserve it because you don't know what the circumstances were surrounding that. So anyways, so before I further explain, I should say um, uh, I'll, I'll probably try and include the actual links in the, in the description. But even if I don't, just search the term Perky Pugs, P-E-R-K-Y. I hope I spelled that right. P-U-G-S, which is the pet you get for doing stuff with, you know, doing a lot of uh, random dungeon cues and such with, you know, pugs. But just search for the term Perky Pugs on Discord, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, they have a number of social media things promoting these events. Like right now, the event is called Friendly Dragon because it's the uncorrupted Voidwing Dragon mount. So the way they did it tonight... Uh, and I guess this is this might be how they usually do it. Uh, this was like only the second time I actually found their stream to do this. Um, they will open a raffle where they want you to type in a certain word and then your character's name and your server. And they did this for a few hours. And on the very last attempt that we're going to do for the night, I was one of the winners. <laughs> so they brought me in like, seven other players and you know i want i'm someone who doesn't necessarily want to be carried i want to be able to pull my own weight i don't necessarily want to be heavy baggage part of the reason i was working hard on gearing the you know this and my other character was for something like this you know right now this guy is 464 you know it's nothing really to slouch about i'm even you know you know, gotten gems and enchantments and such. I was prepping this guy for something like this so I could help contribute. But because of the way the fight works with Nazoth, they basically said, okay, just hit the first, you know, boss enemy, Psychus. Just make sure you get a hit on him so you can tag it, and then just jump over the edge and die. And then we'll take care of it. And that's what they did throughout the night for, the, for three hours. They did that. And so that's what we did. 
it took them a few tries. It's not the, you know, it's not the easiest fight, you know, because there are a lot of things going on and you do have to pay attention to stuff. You know, I wasn't exactly just like, okay, I died and I'm just going to walk away. No, I was actually watching and paying attention to see what are the differences because you guys may or may not see my video on LFR Nazoth um, before you see, before or after you see this one because I was curious what are the differences between this heroic version of the fight and the LFR version. And there was a few little, you know, things I noticed. I was like, oh, that wasn't in the LFR one. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot of things going on. You know, people say it's an easy fight, but that's if you know what you're doing and the coordination, because there's a lot of things just kind of going on around you that you kind of need to pay attention to, you know, in coordination. Of, okay, like, okay, you do this, you do this, you do this, this, this. A lot of stuff going on. So anyways. So all of that being said, for me talking for the past, what, 11 minutes now is, is to <laughs> share this with you guys of what they did for me. I have the achievement. But I don't just have the achievement, which is defeat Nazoth, the corruptor on, in Nihiloth of the Waking City, on heroic difficulty or higher before the release of the next raid tier. I don't expect to get cutting edge, which is beat him on Mythic. Mm -mm, I do not see that happening. Not at all. Not in the slightest. But I want I the reason I also wanted to start recording this right afterwards is because I want to show you how this is apparently gonna work. Because when I got the achievement and then I released and got into the you know, the room in the chamber where you unlock the chest, which I didn't get any loot, but I got I got a pet, uh, a rare pet on my first attempt. I, I I assume it's rare, I don't know. But I also got some texts, and then I had this item get added into my inventory. The spawn of Exiona. It begins a quest. So this quest then immediately popped up once I got this item. Which is, a small dragon emerges from one of the side chambers found within Nazoth's great carapace. It appears confused. You surmise that such chambers must have been use, used to corrupt the dragons, exposing them directly to Nazoth's dark whispers at a young age they would have dr been they would be driven mad more so than any other members of the twilight dragonflight that you had met before this goes all the way back to cataclysm there would be no turning back from such madness but maybe it's not too late for this one i like the idea that after we have beaten azoth here that we have actually found one of these young uh, dragons here that has yet to be entirely corrupted by the Void and Azoth, and we're basically now going to bring the spawn of Vexiona and basically, like, you know, kind of embrace it with, you know, it not being corrupted and have it become my new mount. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to share this moment with you guys where I'm actually finally going to get this mount, and this was, like, my last, like, big goal here for BFA. You know, I, you know, can do some other stuff, you know, in terms of, uh, trying to get some other mythic stuff, you know, mythic keys, which I, I still like, you know, I've grown to enjoy, you know, at times, you know, it's, it can be very fun. Um, not the easiest thing to do, but it, but it can, at times it can be very exhilarating to do, especially when you can also uh, be able to do so with some guild mates. I've grown to have grown very fond of, uh, you know, at least one, you know, there's, you know, the two guilds that my mains are in this guild and the one that my Alliance Demon Hunter is in, um, the one for my line seminars especially because they are constantly doing that stuff and the other night they went out of their way to help me try and get my character better because i was struggling and they just kind of went out of their way to figure out what was going on uh and tried to help me figure out what to, what to do and how to get better and it just really showed me the incredible group of people that i was with uh and that's what really that's when you know you're in a good guild is when you have the realization of the credible kind of people that are in there that they will actually go out of the way because not everyone will just simply go out of their way to actually help you some people will be like oh get better yourself or me stuff like that they'll just tell you off they'll tell you to just do it on your own or whatever you know for whatever reason but when you have people that will just go out of their way to help you get better you know whether or not they get something in it for return to me is a big sign of the kind of people they are which are great people in my opinion i'm i have a feeling that there are people that would disagree with that for some reason but 
to each to each his own, I guess. So, uh, but yeah, this was like the big motivation for me to get this character and my main alliance character geared as much as they are because I wanted to get the mount we're about to get. So the fact that I am about to get it now, it's like that's the last big thing that I want to do before uh, Shadowlands comes out. You know, I was all concerned and worried about how much time I was going to have uh, to be able to pull this off before Shadowlands comes out. Because once, uh, from what I understand, once the Shadowlands like event happens, this it you lose the opportunity to get this achievement and get this mount. So the fact that I now ha have it <laughs> makes me extremely happy. So now I can just kind of like, you know, just relax and chill about it and be able to, you know, think about, um, I don't know, just, you know, we still have the uh, leveling event going on. At the time of this recording is the time when Blizzard announced the 100% extra XP buff that's going on. So let's just say I've been not focusing that much on max level content. Um, obviously, you know, the idea is to focus on le leveling some of your alts, which is what I've been wanting and trying to do. So, but at the same time, I was motivated to get to this point and, you know, to be able to do this, that, um, I would be able to have a shot at getting this. And so now I'm going to show, share the moment with you guys. I turned it down because the music was kind of loud. And especially there in Old Doom, it gets a little loud over there. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show this little line of dialogue here. What lies next for you, Rathian? This is after we have beaten Azoth uh, and turned in the quest. Until the old gods have been vanquished. Yet, they were only one threat to Azeroth. Many others still loom on the horizon and lurk in the shadows. Know that from this day forth, the Black Dragonflight will honor its ancient charge and stand in defense of our world, along with its champions. So, I like the idea here that Rathian is basically going to try to revive the, the Black Dragonflight's uh, true uh, purpose to be defenders of Azeroth. With him, of course, you know, becoming the new leader of the Black Dragon Flight to lead the defense of Azeroth. I like that. I mean, we're, that means we're now going to have Rathian on our side, basically, from now on, which is awesome. He's grown on me. This patch really had him grow on me. Do you trust me? I can sense great pain, confusion, and loss within this little one. This poor creature has led a short, heartbreaking life, as have many of my kind at the hands of others. Mm. Someday, little one, we will find ourselves again. He touches the dragon's head and closes his eyes. There, your mind is cleared. This one is still young. It has much to learn and much to see. I trust that you will care for it. Do not let me down, hero. I must uphold my father's legacy. It's mine. I have the mount. So let's head outside and uh, I'll show it off for you guys. It's too far away.
I like that I have like little, you know, reins there. I like that they basically added added a story there that this is one of the one of uh, the hatchlings from uh, Vexiona, and the full intention was to have all of her, you know, her hatchlings, uh, basically follow Nazoth like she did, but fortunately we got to this one before they could. It's kind of like what happened with uh, Ebonhorn, you know, the Torrin in there. We got to him, and, uh, well, rather, Hull and High Mountain got to him and saved him before the, uh, the corruption of Black Dragon Flight could uh, affect, affect him. And so, I have another Drake mount for my collection. So now that puts my total here up to 251. And I imagine... Let me check this here. Collections, mounts. 216 usable by a single character. So I'm still a ways off from getting the, um, that, um, fell, um, oh gosh. <laughs> that fell talon, uh, mount right there. So you can see as part of the series there, I'm still a ways off from like a horde of hoofbeats. That ain't happening anytime soon <laughs> as much as I would love to. But no, I still have quite a bit to do before I can be able to get, you know, up to that high of a total. But, you know, there are certain mounts that I want more than others. You know, obviously I don't, you know, I just recently got the, um, the fiery warhorse mount from Karazhan from Burning Crusade after 237 attempts. Thank goodness that finally dropped. I'm still working on that Swift Zulian Panther at 157 attempts, but they d did a apparently up the drop rate for that, so hopefully it will drop pretty soon. I need to head back to Stratholme, work on that Death Charger. To do more long runs of Old War if I ever want to get Memoron's head. You know, obviously there's still plenty of mounts here to get. You know, the ones from Dragon Soul, the one from Alakir, the one from Vortex Pinnacle, the one from Stonecore, still quite a few mounts, the one from Archimond, Mythic Archimond. A lot of mounts still to get, but man, am I glad I was able to have the opportunity to get my hands on this one. And I want to once again eternally thank Perky Pugs, the amazing group of people at Perky Pugs for uh, giving not just me but many, there were hundreds of people at that stream that uh, got a chance to enter into that raffle and like over 50 people got to win this mount in that stream, that's awesome and they were sad that they couldn't do more the guy who was hosting the stream said he was like well it looks like there's, we're going to have fit about 51 people get the mount tonight it makes me sad, because I wish it was more. And I was like, that's awesome. They had 51 people, including me, get this mount tonight. And they were sad they couldn't do more. That just speaks volumes to me about the kind of people that they are. So go check them out. You know, go you know, uh, support them, promote them. You know, see their stuff. See if maybe you can be able to win a chance at uh, getting this by going to their streams. They're planning on doing mo many more carries now over the next few months or so. That's going to be until this tier is over to try and help as many people as they can, both on Horde and Alliance, both sides, um, to get this mount before it's gone. So, just awesome. I'll see you guys next time.